Hey everyone, I'm Paul Christmas and welcome to Next Generation Update. That's where languages came into being, all the different languages of the world. Before that, we were unified. And it's interesting to see that as English spreads through the world, the world is actually getting more unified again. So we could take that as a good or bad thing, but let's, let's hope that it's a good thing. Going from there, we got to Abraham. And Abraham is the father of faith. We love Abraham. We love hearing that we're Abraham's children. There's that old song, uh, Father Abraham, many sons and daughters. Uh, he's a father of faith, and, and the promise God gives to Abraham immediately is now a promise we can receive as well, and it says that in Hebrews. But we got to talk about how God sees faith so much differently than we do, that if we hear his voice and we move forward, God will honor that as faith. But Abraham was by no means perfect. In fact, I was sharing with the kids how Abraham, when troubled times would come, he often would resort to fear. In fact, he gave away his wife, Sarah, to not one, but two different men, Pharaoh and King Abimelech. Now, in both situations, Abraham feared the authority in the land and gave his wife because the men re remarked that his wife was beautiful. But what God does is God sh saves Sarah. He preserves her because Sarah was the vessel through which he was going to birth Israel through Isaac. And so God preserves her by bringing sickness, calamity, bad dreams to these men and their households. And so they get downloads from the Lord who, this is not his sister, this is his wife. And they rush her back to Abraham. But not only do they give Abraham his wife back, they then bless him and give him more. He gets more goods, which basically back then, getting cattle, sheep, whatever, that was riches. So Abraham got richer through his mistakes. What we see through this is that God had a grant covenant with Abraham. In other words, he said, I take full authority for the covenant. And through that, even Abraham, when he messed up, he was still blessed. Well, guess what? Today, we are also in a grant covenant with God where even if we mess up, if we get back on track, we will be blessed. He will preserve us and move us forward. Isn't that good news? I think so. We're going to cover more of Abraham next week and keep going. I love your kids. They're amazing. And we will see you next week.